Hi, my name is Sharon Frank. I'm a speech language pathologist, and I specialize in treating vocal cord dysfunction, exercise induced vocal cord dysfunction. And I'm also the creator of the PI approach, which is a holistic approach to treating this very complex disorder, because it's definitely not a, not a, a simple cut and dry sort of disorder. There are treatment techniques, there are very different treatment techniques out there. And one technique that's been out for quite a while focuses on rescue techniques. So again, just to summarize, the problem with vocal cord dysfunction is patients will feel that they can't get enough air in, they, f they feel like they're breathing through a straw, they just feel like they can't get enough air in. And so, and a lot of times it's because the vocal cords are closing when they should be opening or the area just above the vocal cords are closing when they should be opening. So historically, the treatment approach has been to try to get the vocal cords to open. And so these rescue techniques can be things like um, maybe sniffing in through the nose and blowing out with pursed lips. Sometimes it's making certain positional changes with your teeth or your lips. Uh, maybe it's doing relaxed throat exercises. Um, but there, there are other things that are considered rescue techniques, just trying to get the vocal cords to open. And sometimes those work for patients. Sometimes they work. Sometimes these different things work. But I would hope that if someone has tried rescue techniques and they haven't helped, that I would hope that the person doesn't give up because it may just be that you might just need, if you're someone listening to this who has tried rescue breathing techniques, it might just be that you need a little bit different approach. So as I said, sometimes rescue techniques will work okay for someone, and sometimes they don't. And if they don't, you that person may benefit from a more holistic approach, something that might actually look at where's the person breathing from, um, how much tightness do they have, in their musculature, in their chest or shoulders, or their lower respiratory diaphragm. And also what might be helpful is for that person to see someone who can look at how, um, what is, how, what, what is their breathing like? In other words, are they breathing too often? Are they breathing, um, too much volume of air? Are they maybe hyperventilating, which is a very common form of what we call dysfunctional breathing? And that's a bigger, that's like a, a umbrella term, dysfunctional breathing. So it could just be that, you know, the, someone who doesn't benefit from rescue techniques might need to have a technique that addresses more the root cause of it the root cause of the problem of why the vocal cords are closing in the first place. And again, we're assuming that everything structurally has been ruled out, that the person's had an exam by a otolaryngologist or ear, nose, and throat physician, that there's nothing structurally wrong with the vocal cords or the upper airway. There's nothing anatomically um, different, wrong, that would be accounting for the problem that, they're, that they have. So we're assuming that medically everything checks out find that they don't have asthma, that they don't have, um, and, you know, anything or cardiac issues or anything else going on. So if, if everything else is fine, again, sometimes what the patient may need is not to necessarily learn techniques that will rescue them from when they have a problem to try to get out of the problem, but maybe what they need is an approach to help them from having a problem in the first place. And that actually is something that the PI approach looks at is how can we help the patient learn to breathe in a more natural way, but that can also help prevent the problem from happening in the first place. So it really tries to get more to the root of the, of the issue. So I'm hoping that if some of you maybe out there who have tried rescue techniques and it hasn't worked for you, um, don't give up because there are other methods out there that may work for you. 
or maybe there's just some a little tweaking or something else that hasn't been um, addressed that just needs to be addressed. So I hope you found this information helpful and um, I hope that you're able to find some uh, good techniques that will help you breathe better in the sport that you love.